Hello and welcome to a new game that I'm posting on the channel called Cards. It's a World War II focus card game, mainly about the Soviet Union, Japan, Britain, uh, USA, and Germany. I'm playing my Britain Splash uh, USA deck at the moment. If this game's new to you, we it's pretty it's pretty interesting we've got i'll just read the keywords as we go to fill you in on the new ones we've got destruction destruction effects trigger when the unit is destroyed you know like your finals your fatal stuff like that guard adjacent non-guard units cannot be attacked except by bombers and artillery so guarded uh non well, that's not guarded because it's a guard unit itself uh pin it so pin units that is pin can't move or attack so it's a stun deployment debut give all other friendly creatures to defense so the way this game works is you've got your mana currency there your credits and this action here i can't i try to uh, try to point it out but the one top left of the card simpler simplifies it's how many credits it takes to move so to attack there considering it's not like a ranged unit i have to move forward one wait a turn and then attack unless i'm moving with a tank like tank tanks can both move and attack during the same turn fury fury uh, units can attack twice during each turn infantry infantry can only attack into the next battle lane so they can only attack that lane and not like over there stuff like that So, it takes one to move, some could take zero, some could take six, some can take two. So, at the moment, the best play I can think of is moving this guard card that's got seven HP to the field, uh, to the uh, front lines. So, the, the way this works like the front line pushing works is you move the front line up the enemies can't go into the front line until they've destroyed all your cards on the front line so the, obviously the most effective strategy is put squish units behind a big tanky boy that's got guard and more more than one unit can attack so it's like yu gi rules how it hard attacks so that can attack that can attack that can attack type thing now this card is extremely good. Stars and Stripes. Do one damage to each unit in the enemy support line for each unit there. So it just wipes out their support line. Oh yeah, Blitz is haste. So Blitz unit can operate in the turn that it's summoned. Usually they can't operate in the turn they're summoned. That probably is a pretty good play, so pop that up. I can't... Oh, it's an infantry, not a tank. The card misled me. I've been deceived. We can do it. Gives everything three defense and and, an ex, and draws me a card. We've got gain two extra credit slots, so that's gain two extra mana. Draw an additional card at the beginning of the next turn. So it's basically... I can't think of any cards to equate it to, but... It's essentially gain two... It's like plot. But like you only draw one card. Destroy a target unit of three or let ah, bastard. Um I do want to get that to the field. Like badly. But I think if I ramp oh, the maximum amount of mana you can have is thirteen, there is a cap. No cap. But there is a cap, so something. Like There's cards like oh, I'll read them as we go. Have we seen any flying units? Oh, well, particular level. Fighter. Fighters can attack targets anywhere on the battlefield and prevent enemy bombers from attacking other targets in the uh, in the same front. Passive effect affects the game's uh, affect game rules in some way while on the battlefield. Ambush. When attacked for the first time each turn, this unit deals da uh, deals its damage first and receives no damage if it destroys enemy unit. So it's it's like uh, I can't think of anything to equate it to again, but. If it survives the first, if it survives the fight, it doesn't take any damage. Oh no, is that it? Uh, excuse no damage if it, it, oh if it destroys the enemy unit. 
So if the enemy unit is still alive, then the E still takes damage. So I can just... I take... It's not worth it. I'll probably just pop his face. And do that at the moment. See, now he can... He doesn't have to attack the front line. Even though it's guarded, he has to attack the back line. Now there's a different version of fighters which are bombers and they can attack anyone anywhere and not be a, like not be uh, attacked back. See I they they were using cards as I was talking there and I missed a few of them. Damn man, this guy is running removal. Let's move that up. Here's a cheeky little combo. Because it's got the tank ability, it can move and attack. And because it's got fury, it can attack twice. So this turn, I can pop him for six or pop him for three. So I'm going to pop him for six because either way, he will have to attack this. So I'd rather not waste an attack on clearing his field where he needs he need something to clear that anyway. Like, see? It, the same thing happened except I attack. Cost four if your HQ is at 10 or less. Add. Uh, Jesus, man, this guy is running hard removal. And here's naval support, a really good card. I'm just going to pin him. Oh, bomber, here we go. Oh, he's got a lot. Uh, bombers are dealt no. Bombers are dealt damage by units they attack. A uh, bombers. Uh, fucking hell. Bombers are dealt no damage by units they attack, except by fighters. They ignore guarded status. Bombers can. Bombers deal no damage while defending. Smoke screen. Unit cannot be attacked by enemy units. A unit loses smoke screen if it moves or attacks. Guard uh, guard units and units in front lines cannot have smoke screen. So he is guarding. And there's not too much I can do about it. And it's pinned so it's stunned so it can't attack or move. See, I, I die there, and it, it, it takes zero damage. Why does it take zero damage? Is it heavily armored twice? Oh, it's got ambush. Yeah, I don't want to attack. Because if he attacks, then he still takes damage. So I, I need cards, basically. I need some draws. That's an artillery unit. Artillery. Artillery receives no damage from attacks. It can attack anywhere on the field. And friendly infantry has plus one. And here's our own bomber. Here's a nice combo. Finest hour. The bomber will attack me, so I'd rather take. Ah, it's got smoke screen, I can't do anything anyway. And I'm definitely gonna stun that guard and give me an extra four attack with naval front line. So next turn, he'll probably attack me with that, so I'll attack him and then turn after he attack me with that, so hopefully I can get a guard card. This one when you play a Japanese card, gets guard. Oh, what's this? Boy, we deal two damage to enemy ground unit. Ah, oh. wait. Hope is artillery count as a ground unit? Yes. See, that changes a lot now. Now I can attack more or less freely. See, I'm going to attack that. So we can't attack that. And if this moves forward next turn, I'll use three credits to attack it. And most people here have played card games, so I'm gonna. I'm uh, sorry. I just realised I kind of babied you. I'll stop treating you like a child. You can, oh, end turn. See, that is really an inconspicuous end turn thing. I've done it a lot. The way this game works is you obviously have a tutorial, and then you have, a, like, a shit ton of tutorial. Like, you have a... You do your base tutorial, and then you got, I think, four other tutorial-type things, where it's just campaign against AI. Jesus, man. The Japanese decks are cool. I have, like, crap cards. I guess... I don't know. Oh, just packs. What is this? Point give another three unit unit plus one. Ah, that's actually really cool. What's the, what what are you reduced to Ah I see. Ah. Damn I he moved Ah here we go. I love this girl. Ah Okay, good it, it, it hit it hit the good one. I thought I did a massive misplay there. Oh yeah, it wasn't a bomber, it was a fighter. I always get confused with that. So at the moment, we have more ball control. I have two bombers in the field, which is, like, is kind of scary and really hard to, 
to deal with. So on my turn, I can attack twice and take zero damage. So if I can... Oh, what's this? Is that Alpha Blitz? Uh, oh, Al Alpine. When an Alpine unit... When an Alpine uh, unit is deployed or added, it gets plus one for each other Alpine unit. Oh, it's okay, that's cool. So, since it's a bomber, it doesn't take any damage, so I'm just going to do that. Hit face, hit face. Well, no, hit their face. See, now he has one card each turn, while I currently have two annoyingly hard cards to get off the field. That is a really, really good card. The enemy cannot deploy units this turn. See, look, I can't. I can't use spells in that. That's, actually, that's a really good card. This is uh, obviously online PvP at the moment. It's, I think, ranked. There's other, there's kind of other game modes. I'm not too sure what to call them. And that is, oh yes, right here we go. Fighter. Fighters can attack anywhere on the battlefield and prevent enemy bombers from attacking. I know you really get to see this effect. So the enemy, my my bombers can't attack his base. Because he has a fighter, and his fighter essentially works as a guard, but for bombers. So I have to attack his fighter with this card. Which is then I can just attack the other card, but I'm just teaching him how to the game. I think we get into one more, and then we, we call it quits for this video. That is a limited card, I think. Let's see what our missions are. Uh, win three games with USA is a major power. Play 30 Africa and cost cards. This is the shop. This is how you get your cards. There's decks you can buy with um, with gems. I, I'm not too sure how this game truly works like properly. Where if you want to, if buying stuff works better, or like if buying decks works better, or uh, getting stuff with gems. So here's the. Uh, Allegiance, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's the main stuff, and there's, there's like, I guess you'd call it, like a sub-genre, there's like France, Italy, and Poland, as like, you can't be major powers, but they are, uh, quite small. The first thing you want to do when you get in the game, get your 30 gems, spend them when you start a pack, so that's like, that is literally five packs right there. We've got gold, and this is how, like, the pack system works. There's base pack, there's allegiance pack. I'm gonna I'll, I'll buy an allegiance pack. And you go back. And then you go card. Nope, you don't. You go pack. Jesus, man. Tip it out. See, so I've got two limited cards. Reduce attack of this unit by one for e each time it's attacked. Minimum to one. It's a really good card. Oh, here's a good one. It's a spend seven credits at the end of enemy turn and add it to the battlefield. Ah, so it spends seven credits of ah, oh, so it forcefully puts itself on the field. I'm pretty sure deals double damage against tanks, so it's like a tank that destroys tanks. Veteran pilots choose one, give a Soviet air unit plus one or immune this to immune. I've never seen that one. Unit or HQ cannot take damage while immune. That's really cool. So we'll try one more. See if we get our ass kicked. Hopefully not. So far I haven't lost yet. The British deck. It's Britain seemed, was my favourite campaign to go through. It You basically just have a lot of guard units. And uh, naval support. Which you saw me use there. Where it's it makes the, the same attack as your health so it it doesn't switch it or anything it just makes it same so if you've got one and a one eight you can turn it into an eight eight and eight eight guard is annoying to get rid of because they're so easy to make because there's literally you can get i think three naval supports maybe four in the deck or something like that and you've got these these are uh, free cost cards that bring naval supports to your hand straight like just by throwing them in so you can get like a maximum of like five to maybe six naval supports and they're really not hard to come across like, I think there's 40 cards in the deck, so it's like, like here we go, naval support right there. Carpet bombing, uh, we'll 
do this hand. See, here's a really nice combo. Oh, this is a stupidly good turn. Or good hand. So, I think how going first works is you don't you draw an extra card, but you don't draw a card. But your opponent does draw. Enemy... What was, what was that? Uh, enemy units cost two more to operate. Ah! So I wasn't. I didn't plan on operating this turn. So the the combo, if you couldn't tell, would be uh, cold stream guards attack. Next turn, um, this Donny into naval support onto a onto a, what's his name swordfish MK1. Is this all? Please don't tell me his name is actually. Oh, okay, it's Swordfish. Oh, we've got an able support there, so I didn't have to do a combo, but, you know. See, Smoke Screen, I will I'll, we'll have enough, like, HP to do the damage, basically. Or enough damage to. Yeah, you know what I mean. See, now everything's got increased HP. So I'll send this forward, so it loses its Smoke Screen, because I'm pretty sure a bomber can't target Smoke Screen. And I could get more. Pin all air units in front line. See, I don't have any air units in front line. I don't know why you'd ever make an air unit front line. I guess to clear up your support. Because you can only have four in the back. See, that's. It makes my turn E. Oh, that's, I mean, that's not nice at the moment. Um. Oh, yeah. Win Churchill MK4 is amazing. Guard heavy armor. Heavy armor. Unit receives one less damage when attacked by other units. Units can have heavy armor free max. So we're just naval support. Do we name it? Yeah, we. I think we naval support here. See, he's got smoke screen, which is a problem. Can I? This is an infantry unit, which is annoying. And I can't take my guard unit away. From back. So this will be the turn for the moment. Just five to face. Not too bad. Now the problem here is that it is indeed an air unit, and air units. There's a lot of cards in the game to take care of air units. See, as you can see right here, five, zero, like, zero repercussions at all to me. And I'm going to Valentine MK. Next turn, I'm going to move forward the Coldstream Guards and put in Churchill MK. Now that, that is quite scary. Because it's it's an artillery split screen. I'm gonna start treating you like children now, so you actually, you know, not not. An, I know you're not idiots, and I won't need. I shouldn't need to ex to explain a lot of things to you now. Ah, I forgot the action cost. I I'm relatively new to this game, so that's the excuse I'm going for. <laughs> um, I can do this. To face, to face, to face. Oh, that's bad. See, I forgot that my back line isn't guarded. So if he had, I don't know what. Um, some. I think everything can. I'm pretty sure everything can target uh, something if it's guarded, like spells and that. So what is guarded? Not only should can't be attack. Ah, so artillery can go through it, and so can. Um, Bombers. I think I win the game now. Yep, damn. Sorry, I have a cold. You couldn't tell by my voice. Uh, this will be it for the, this will be it for this video. Thank you for watching and getting this far. What? Uh, considering it's definitely a new game, don't don't fret. I won't stop playing spell slingers and releasing spell slinger content. It is a game that I love a lot. But this might be one of my favourite card games I've ever played. There's a dynamic like system to it where there's movement involved as well as strategy and like the, just the different lines. It kind of adds like a three-dimensional feeling to the game instead of the, like the bog standard of block attack. It's like you've got to manage where your units are or your, where your cards are while also managing like how many you use and just the normal card game stuff but with the aspect of like moving your cards forward which I really enjoy. But uh, thank you, thanks for watching this far. If you like cards, don't you can subscribe if you like, or just watch the content. 
just leave a like on the video that really helps it get out there to other people so you can enjoy my wonderful and extremely attractive voice but uh, thank you thanks for watching thanks for getting this far and i hope i'll see you in the next